The core purpose of the valve signature tool is to make it simple and easy to monitor the health of subsea valves. The tool achieves this by taking in valve movement data, analysing it and using it to calculate a set of key health indicators. These indicators can then be monitored against previous values and flagged, alerting the user, when they begin going outside of preset limits. So what you can see here is the latest closing movement for a given valve that exists within the tool. At first sight, the signature looks like what a standard signature should do. Here you see the initial pressure drop down to the point where the valve starts to close, after which the pressure is determined by the valve actuator. The signature then exhibits a gradual decline in pressure as the valve closes, continuing until we hit the clear stop. This indicates the valve is completely closed. This is everything you would expect from a healthy valve and doesn't show any signs of there being something wrong with the valve. However, if we use a feature of the tool to overlay the baseline movement, the first recorded movement for the valve, we can see that the new signature potentially indicates that there is a developing health issue. In the latest trend, the first obvious issue is that we can see an extended closure time. However, is this the result of a lower bore pressure, or is it indicative of a physical change in actuator performance? It is not possible to take a view on this without a more detailed analysis, and the valve signature tool can help you with this and more. Surprisingly, the most significant change in the new signature is with the signature curvature. We can see that the curve has changed from a pronounced concave shape, where the data points are all below any tangent line, to nearly a straight line. This is strongly suggestive of a developing issue with the spring performance. Now, if we go down the page, we can see a table showing the current status of the key health indicators for this movement, which are determined based on deviations from the baseline movement. Also indicated are the differences between this movement and the previous movement. As you will see, most of the key health indicators are well within the accepted deviation. However, you will notice that the curvature and delta KHIs have both exceeded their preset limits and have been flagged for investigation. Both of these KHIs are related to valve actuator spring characteristics and their flagging indicates a potential change in the spring. As previously noted, the bore pressure in the valve at the time of the movement will significantly change the valve's closing time and the signature's visual appearance. It will also affect the start to close pressure and closing time key health indicator values. To cater for this effect, the allowable deviations from baseline for these KHIs are normally set to relatively insensitive values to prevent nuisance warning indications. However, if you can input the bore pressure for both the baseline and current movements, the tool is capable of normalising the start to close pressure and closing time KHIs, leading to more accurate and robust inferences being made, using more sensitive allowable deviation values. Now we will take a look at the Overview page. The Overview page is a top-level dashboard that displays all the valves that currently exist in your structure and their current status, where they will be one of three statuses – Healthy, Green, Investigation Required, Red, or No Data, Grey. This page is automatically generated and requires no input from the user to set up. It becomes more populated the more valves you add to your structure. Later we will add some additional valves and revisit this page to see the changes. However, firstly you will notice only one valve exists and is flagged as investigation required. From here we can click on the valve to take us to the valves page and get some more information on it. At the top you will see the key health indicator trend. With this we can see a trend for each indicator visualising their degradation over time, helping to monitor how a valve's performance may be changing over its life. Below the graph, you will find the valve's complete history of movements, with a summary of the KHI values for each. Clicking any of these will then take us into the more detailed movement page we saw previously. This screen shows the flow meter data returned from the latest movement, which can again be visually compared with the baseline and previous movements curves. Finally, getting your data in and viewable is an extremely quick and simple process. On the Upload page, 
we can simply drop a zip file containing all the movements we want to upload. The tool will then extract it, retrieve any movement files it recognises, parse and process the data. All these movements are then grouped by the valve they belong to, detailed in the files, where they can then be viewed by clicking the valve header. As you can see, each movement is then listed. For each movement, they are flagged with a status – OK, green, fail, red, bad data, magenta, pending, yellow – including any errors that occurred whilst processing it. These are to aid the reviewing process by quickly weaning out files that were missing expected data. Furthermore, for each movement, you can also view the data extracted from it and a trend of the data. At this point, you can add the relevant bore pressures for each signature, if available. Once you have loaded in all the movements you want to upload and are happy with them, you simply click Upload. This will then begin sending the data. Now the smart bit. During this process, the tool will attempt to look to see if these valve signatures belong to an existing group of valves. If they do not, it will then construct the nodes necessary to create the path to the valve and then the valve itself. This removes the need for the user to create each valve individually, meaning getting the tool up and running with your data is extremely quick and easy. Now that is completed, we will now revisit the overview page. You will now see multiple tables and valves, reflecting the newly created valves. This structure may be easily manually edited further to suit the user's dashboard presentation requirements. In summary, Intelligent Plant's Subsea Valve Signature Tool gives us a comprehensive understanding of the status of subsea valves, using existing telemetry installed in the subsea control module. This system is tested and proven to identify isolated or systemic degradation of a valve's condition, which can alert engineers well in advance of complete valve failure. This has the potential to materially reduce the impact of a valve failure, giving us time to plan for intervention, avoid unnecessary downtime and improve safety.